While editing is at the core of what Final Cut Pro does, it's the filters and effects that will set your work apart. To add a filter, simply double-click a clip in the timeline. You can browse and choose filters from the Effects tab, or you can access them from Effects, Video Filters. Dozens of filters are available for performing tasks ranging from blurring to keying to creating stylistic treatments of your images. Once a filter has been selected, you can access its parameters in the Filters tab of the viewer. In order to see the effect of your changes, park the playhead over the clip in the sequence timeline. That way the canvas will be previewing the clip you're modifying. Filter parameters can be animated using keyframes just like the parameters in the Motion tab. To temporarily disable a filter, uncheck the checkbox alongside its name. And to remove a filter, just select it and press the Delete key. Perhaps the most important kind of filters are the color correctors. Of these, the most significant is the Color Corrector 3 way. While controls are available inside the Filters tab like other filters, the Color Corrector 3 way includes its own dedicated tab. In fact, Final Cut Pro includes a preset screen layout for color correction. Choose Window, Arrange, Color Correction. You'll see the interface rearranges to include built in real time video scopes, a waveform monitor, a vector scope, a histogram, and an RGB parade. These are vital for maintaining color integrity and keeping values within broadcast legal ranges. Note that two buttons at the top left of the scopes give you control over the brightness of the data displayed by the scopes and the brightness of the scope graduations. When you're done performing color correction, you can choose Window, Arrange, Standard to return to your normal view. The Color Corrector 3 way allows you to make hue, saturation, and value changes to the dark, mid range, and bright pixels in your image using three intuitive banks of controls. At the center of these controls are three auto level buttons. These attempt to even out the contrast in your image with a single click. The three main groups give you control over the color of your black levels, your mid-range color levels, and your white levels. To perform a white balance on the shot, click the eyedropper under the white's color wheel, then select a diffuse white area in the viewer. The white's color wheel will shift to compensate for the color bias of the white in your clip. Moving the small, round control at the center of the color wheel will adjust the color cast of pixels in that portion of your clip. The sliders directly below the color wheels brighten or darken the pixels that fall into the controls region. So dragging the slider under the mids control will brighten or darken mid-range pixels, adjusting the one below the blacks will raise or lower the black level, and adjusting the one below the whites will shift the white level. These controls give you great freedom to create just the right look for a given scene. At the base of the control set is a saturation slider for adjusting the overall chrome in its level. This is handy for pulling computer generated content back to broadcast legal values. Additional fine controls are available by opening the disclosure triangle at the base of the tab. Among the many other noteworthy filters is Smooth Cam. Smooth Cam almost magically removes camera shake from footage often rescuing otherwise unusable footage. Using Smooth Cam is simple. Load your clip into the viewer, and then choose Effects, Video Filters, Video, Smooth Cam. Smooth Cam goes to work analyzing the motion in your clip. And even though processing longer clips can take a while, Smooth Cam calculations are performed in the background, so you can continue to work on the rest of your sequence without interruption. The defaults work for a surprising number of clips. 
Of course, you also have the option to fine tune the smoothing after the analysis pass using the controls in the Filters tab. The filters and effects don't end with those in the Effects tab. Final Cut Pro's FX Plug architecture provides access to hundreds of third party filters with pristine 32 bit float image processing and powerful GPU acceleration.